Waterloo Station is one of the busiest intermediate stations on Merseyrail's Liverpool to Southport line, with over 1.9 million using it in the year up to 2020. Its position near to the Southern Coast, as well as being in a popular shopping and leisure and residential area, ensures its popularity. The line was built by the Liverpool, Crosby and Southport Railway, being authorised on the 2nd of July 1847 and opened on the 24th of July 1848. It was initially a single track line, with its terminus at Waterloo. The heavy engineering required to take the line into Liverpool meant it didn't open through to its intended destination until 1850. This early map shows the initial site of the station alongside what is now Lawn Road. Next to it is the line's former engine shed. No trace of the old station or shed remains today. The cutting on line to Liverpool can also be seen, though today's station is yet to be built at the time of this map. The Liverpool Crosby and Southport line only retained its independence until the 14th of June 1855, when it was absorbed by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. This early picture, taken up Little Sands, shows a typical train from those early days. These were soon replaced by new engines and carriages. The new Waterloo station was built as an island platform on the other side of South Road. With overall canopies and comfortable waiting facilities, it was ideally situated for the area. The Lancashire and Yorkshire, however, didn't have a monopoly through Waterloo to Crosby. The Liverpool Overhead Railway also ran a surface almost parallel to theirs as far as Victoria Road and Crosby Village. The Overhead Railway in Crosby, you may ask? Well, yes, though not trains, but a tramway. Opened on the 9th of June 1900, it ran services up till the 31st of December 1925. Here we see the overhead trams passing various local landmarks. It was in this period of competition that a tragic accident took place. On the 15th of July 1903, an express from Liverpool derailed on the sharp curve leading into the station. The locomotive derailed and ran up the ramp at the end of the platform. It then demolished the columns supporting the overbridge and the steps leading from the bridge to the platform and turned completely round, the leading end facing east. The carriages ploughing into the wreckage. Seven people lost their lives as a result of the accident, with 116 injured. The cause was down to a combination of suspension failure on the locomotive, coupled with excessive speed. In order to combat competition with the trams, the Lancashire and Yorkshire electrified the route in 1904. This coloured postcard from the period shows one of the new electric trains at Waterloo. Steam didn't completely disappear from the Southport Line or Waterloo. Directly opposite the site of the former shed, the Lancashire and Yorkshire established a goods yard. This was accessed from the level crossing at St John's Road. The signal box here controlling the movements in and out.
The site is now occupied by the Corp store and the Royal Mail delivery office. So in some way it's still used for goods, albeit in the back of mail vans. The second generation of electric trains was introduced between 1939 and 1942 and would serve the line until their withdrawal in 1980. One of these we see here in 1969. Other steam surfaces which pass through Waterloo were the regular through coaches for London Euston. These were eventually replaced by diesel units until the opening of the underground extensions in 1977. In 1963 the Beeching Report was published and one of its recommendations was the closure of the Southport line. Luckily the proposals were rejected, but stations on the line started to become a little run down. With the line reprieved, Merseyside Transport set about integrating bus and rail services together and a bus interchange was built at Waterloo. Passengers from buses accessed the station via a dedicated walkway and vice versa. Promotions and discounted tickets helped to encourage people to use the new facilities, and eventually they did. Though this only lasted until bus deregulation in 1986. Can't have silly ideas like public transport working for the benefit of all. The interchange is now largely disused and the walkway blocked off at both ends. Waterloo's canopies and waiting facilities have now gone to be replaced by a glass waiting room. A lift has now been added for the benefit of those less abled. The events of 2020 have seen a significant reduction in passenger numbers at Waterloo, though with new trains on the horizon hopefully it won't be long before they return. <laughs>